Hello guys! So in case you don't know, the Jackbox Party Pack 10 is coming out pretty soon. It's going to have two brand new single player party games. So I thought in celebration come uh, for the upcoming Jackbox Party Pack 10 coming out next month, I thought I'd revisit every single of the Jackbox Party Pack games that only requires a single player. Starting off, of course, with the first Jackbox Party Pack. And there are two games in that pack uh, that are single player. <laughs> You don't know Jack 2015 is the first, uh, one of these. Game, and it's a thing, seeing as how it's the first ever Party Pack game. On. It's also the only game of the Jackbox Party Pack series that you don't have to use your phone. You can use your own controller, which is kind of interesting. Uh, oh, Dottie. Um... Let's just, let's just do, let's just do anti pedestrian Council. Let's go. I am Cookie Masterson, and not to brag, but the cashier at Trader Joe's complimented me on my choices today. That's nice. Oh God, you're by yourself? Please don't tell anyone I was here. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... The Anti-Pedestrian Council. Hey, I'm trying to drive here, is our motto. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Okay, let's see what happens. Prepare for a long video today, guys. Right off the top, she mused me. If Taylor Swift broke up with every male currently in the world, about how many songs would she be inspired to write? 1.2 billion songs, 2.3 billion songs, 3.6 billion songs, or 7.4 billion I songs? I noticed a typo in your own game. The go. world population is floating around 7.1 billion, of which 3.6 billion are males. That only gives her a few microseconds for each relationship, but that should be more than enough. Oh, mama, gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, tell you Here we go. Let's try. This question got stuck in my teeth. Who's hungry? Cookie fortune, cookie fortune. Okay, <clears throat> this one's a bit violent. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Okay, so I won't shoot anybody until I see their, uh, their, um, their pupils, their irises, their retinas, or their scleras. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. No, no, I'll get this. Right, the white of your eye is called the sclera. But don't look too long at the end of these eyes, the eyes or you might just fall in love. Dance with me, Disco 3. Open wide for Cookie Masterson, the vocab guy. If Bill Nye the Science Guy learned nigh everything there was to know about science, what would be true of him? He would know nearly everything about science, he would know very little about science, he would know exactly everything about science, or he would know nothing about science. Uh... Not much time left. I now have evidence supporting my theory that you're not very smart. Here's where the money is. Nye means near or nearly. The reason why Bill Nye doesn't know everything about science is because he refuses to accept the Cookie Masters and Unifying Theory of Quantum Mechanics as the scientific fact that it is. But I guess people fear what they don't understand. This one's called... Your mother smells like the jungle. 
What are you most likely to see Tarzan scrambling to buy at the last second on Mother's Day? A banana bouquet for Coco, banana candies for Kala, banana perfume for Chim Chim, or a calendar of banana pictures for Abu? <laughs> Kala is the female ape who raised Tarzan in the jungle. His dad wasn't around much. He was too busy sitting around patting his chest with the backside of his hand every couple of minutes. Take a stab at Obesity the Game, and it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven acronyms, and for each one, tell me if it's a type of healthcare plan or a type of video game. If it's a healthcare plan, press the left arrow. If it's a type of video game, press the right arrow. Ready? Let's go. HMO. MMO. PPO. POS. FPS. RTS MOO How is that a that video was a big game? BOO I can't afford to see a doctor, so I've just started asking the 12 year olds I play Call of Duty against online for medical advice. They said I should go f myself. They also called me an asshole, but my rash cleared up. <laughs> That about does it for round one. And your score is pretty much just fairly okay. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And keep in mind, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. Okay then, here we go. Coming up, Pussycat Control. Oh my god, my cat's poopsie and mayonnaise are driving me crazy. And what do I get from them? Nothing! If my cats were like the cat in the fairy tale Puss in Boots, what would they do for me? Grant me three wishes, help me kill a witch, impress my boss and get me a promotion, or help me break an ancient curse? In Puss in Boots, Puss makes his master look good in front of the king, which results in him marrying the king's daughter, becoming royalty. Yep. Why don't you two idiots ever do anything like that for me? I haven't had a promotion in years. <coughs> I have not been stealing office supplies. Those are complimentary, damn it. Question seven. Up next, that evidence was planters. If Mr. Peanut wanted to make some marzipan, which of his other nut friends could he grind up to produce the central ingredient? Mr. Hazelnut, Mrs. Almond, Miss Cashew, or Senor Brazil Nut? Marzipan is a confection made from sugar, eggs, and ground up Mrs. Almonds. Regular almonds work too. Yeah. But Mr. Peanut would be found not guilty because he's a total n See, you thought I was gonna say nut, didn't you? No, it's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. No one would believe the murder thing. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Here we have where the buffalo foam. You know, I'm having a pretty good day, which means Hello, Danny. Yep, there he is. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so... Who's the Not Not me! Billy, why are you foaming at the mouth? I've got rabies and I've come to date you. What? Stay away from me. Did you get bitten by a rabid animal? Lady, which of these animal dites could not give me rabies? A deaver dite, a non-goose dite, a king cobra dite, or a dadger dite? <laughs> rabies only affects warm-blooded animals, not reptiles. Yep. Besides, you can't get diseases like this, Billy. You're made of wood. Really? Then how did I get syphilis? That's a good point. Here's one for you. Yoko has no remorse. What Beatles album am I describing? Let it be Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road, or Help. 
Okay, I think it's pretty obvious we took the wrong end of the cake from these Next things. Next time, try this. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 in Morse code is SOS, the International Distress Call. Of course, if the Beatles ever got stranded, they'd need help from somebody, but not just from anybody, picky bastards. You mean the album with the Beatles on the crosswalk? No. But you can gently bump crosswalkers out of your way with a memory foam car bumper from the Anti-Pedestrian Council. The Anti-Pedestrian Council. Because walkers. Am I right? Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Plus, you know, Sweet. roads have crosswalks and pedestrians are on it. I call this one, F this. How would you read comedian Will Forte's name if it were accompanied by the musical notation Forte? Will Forte! Will Forte. Will Forte. Or Will Forte. In music, Forte means played loudly. Unlike Will Forte's quiet and nuanced performance in his Oscar-nominated film, MacGruber. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. The Prodigy's son returns. They were prodigies in what area? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Let's do it with a B. There we go. Come on, where is it? There it is. Fishing. <laughs> something of a nose flute prodigy growing up. Listen to this. I mastered that when I was just five years old. Hard to believe. You don't know Jack! Okay, that is You Don't Know Jack 2015. And let's go back to the pack really quick. Because we've got another game, believe it or not, with a one-player option. And that is this one right here, Lie Swatter. And I'm going to have to boot up my phone for this one, and I might have to charge it later. Okay. Well, hang tight, guys. I'll be right back.
not great. Since the uh, thing is so short, I'm gonna have to. Oh. I don't even think it's worth it anymore. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Bonjour, and welcome to Lie Swatter, the massive true or false trivia game. We can accommodate a huge number of players in a game. It's fun for just one player, but more fun with a hundred. I don't have a hundred player. All right then. Before we get started, don't forget, new players can go to this website and enter this room code to join the game at any time. Let's begin. <laughs> You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from the following fact categories. You've seen me play this one before. It's really just a truth or lie thing. Ronald Reagan had an attorney in the Oval Office. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. Amsterdam's red light district has a playpen area for customers' children. Yep. That makes sense. Kobe Bryant is fluent in Italian and Spanish. He briefly lived in Italy as a child. The French had an unmeltable cheese. There's no such thing as a non multiple cheese. Unless it's moon cheese. Vin Diesel has a 3.14 tattoo on his lower back. Yeah. Three people were killed by sharks during the making of Jaws 3D. They're fake. That's why I thought that. A monkey survived for several days after receiving a whole head transplant. Oh, I've seen I've, I've read this one before. <laughs> this one's true. Because it lived for eight days. And here's your score at the end of round one. Oh, play a perfect ground. Squished up in the wet. <laughs> That's kinda nice. Here are your new fact categories. Okay, what we got? Mount Everest. Mount Everest's namesake, George Everest, was an amateur mime. Uh, wow. Ah, that's my first one wrong in the entire game so far. Wow. A German U-boat was torpedoed after it had to surface due to an improperly flushed toilet. What? That's true? The captain tried to flush when the ship was too deep. Katy Perry owns a cat named Kitty Perry. Really? Elephant brains are actually only about half the size of human brains. That would make sense. Wow. I am sucking at this. The U.S. Army had a Camel Corps stationed in Texas during the mid-1800s. Um... Wow! I'm getting no scores from this. Martin Luther King Jr. was in an art class with Bob Ross. No. No. That's a lie. I don't think Bob Ross is even around yet when Martha Ju King was a lie. The dirt that collects under your fingernails is called Ungut. I could see that being the case. Hey, okay, now. <laughs> Here is your score. I'll suck to that one. <laughs> For the final round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is Goosebumps Book Titles. 
Which of these are real titles of scary teen horror Goosebumps books? Headless zombies still want snacks. Yeah, that makes no sense, honestly. Piano lessons can be murder. I don't think so. Oh, really? That's scary. The Devil's Text Message. Was Goosebumps even made when text messages were a thing? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think... Yeah. I'm grounded six feet under. That is a ridiculous title if it were true, though. Shop till you drop. Dead. Okay, I think this one's actually true. Yep. Too spooky. Say cheese and die again. Oh, it is? Interesting. The hints aren't giving help clues. Spelling be afraid. Spelling be very afraid. Now that does sound like a good title for a Goosebumps book. <coughs> Except it's not. Of course. <laughs> and here's your final score! Water. It's a pretty short game, so we got that done. Uh, moving on now, we're going to do um, the next uh, single player game is Bomb Corp, and I've not played it at all. Uh, I'm not playing it too much. From what I can tell, it's a uh, pretty frustrating game. I don't know how many games you're going to do. I think just one, just so that we can get every through every game. Well, uh, let's get started. So this is in Jackbox Party Pack 2. It's actually the very bottom, as you can see, one to four players from Bomb Corp. It ties with Needle Nut Jack 2015. Yeah. Story, story mode. We're doing story mode. I like the art style though. It's like a state eight bit of old video games. Monday! Oh great! Our new interns have arrived. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm your performance evaluation buddy. Here's your desk. You're going to have to share for now. Who knows, maybe two of you will fall in love or something. Let's get you started with a quick team building exercise. There is too much stuff on this desk. Let's smash something. Uh, the only problem is that three of these four items are important, so only one can be smashed. You have four buttons on your device, one for each item on the desk. You also have rules that will help you determine which of the four items is worthless and can be smashed. Use the rules to figure out which button to push and then smash away. All right. Don't smash the plant, don't smash the phone, don't smash the computer. So, smash the picture. Great! You smash that picture of Trevor's family. Oh, Trevor used to work at this desk, but he doesn't need that picture anymore because uh, he died. I think Why this team is ready for some real work again? now. <laughs> Here at Bomb Corp, we make lots of bombs, but we are very disorganized. Sometimes yeah. the bombs just start going off by themselves. We're not very good at making bombs that don't start going off by themselves. When that happens, the bomb's instruction manual will automatically appear on your device, as well as buttons that let you cut wires. Okay. And oh, of course, no. in this first day, it's going to be very now. easy. Defuse this bomb before time runs out, or it'll explode and kill us all. Okay, what do we got? All right, cut the third wire if it is green, which it is. Cut the first wire if it's yellow, which it's not. Cut the second wire if it is white, which it is. So, two and three. Yay! Yay! Very I'm easy. gonna celebrate by taking 14 pills today instead of my usual 13. Yay! Oh, man, come Free on. work on that bomb. Ah, oh, man, here's another bomb set to go off. Would you mind making sure this one doesn't blow up and kill us all? Okay, what do we got? If there is a white wire present, cut the second wire. So no cutting the second wire. 
If there is a red wire pre present, cut the first wire. If there is a blue wire present, cut the third. So it's first wire, third wire. I wish you could see what's going on this on my uh, like screen. This is time I can't remember. It may not have happened. Oh, nice job. I think you've earned a break. I just think if the whole world was a beach, then we would all be happy. Who doesn't love a beach? I once got an infection from sand fleas. Oh, so we'll only build beaches that don't have sand fleas. Okay, back to work. While you were on your coffee break, the bombs really started to stack up over here. I'm Linda. I know Greg is your boss, but don't question my authority. Defuse these three bombs before they explode and kill me. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we got three bombs to defuse instead of just one. Cut all wires next to wire two, so one and three. Do not cut red wires, even if another rule says that you should. There is no red wires. Cut the fourth wire. So, cut all wires next to wire two, so one, three, and a four. Easy. Cut all white wires, which there are none. Do not cut the third wire, even if it's white, so no cutting the third wire. Cut the first wire if it is black. Just cut the third, first wire. Cut the second wire if it is red, so no. Uh, cut the third wire if it's yellow, but so no. Cut the first wire if it is blue, so again, the, third, the first wire. Pretty easy. Who wants to celebrate with Doctor Who and s'mores? Hey, good first day. Now it's time for me to go home to my apartment, which is also full of bombs. Uh, let's do another day, because that one went pretty fast. Next day unlocked. So let's just do the next day and then we'll uh, move on to our next game. Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> yeah. Defuse the dang bomb. Okay, what do we got? Wires need to be cut in order from right to left. So, cut all wires adjacent to wire three, cut wire four of its red. So, So it wasn't all the wires, okay. Yeah, cut a wire too. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, start over. Try this again. Okay, what do we got this time? Okay, cut the fourth wire. Cut green wires at the bottom's nums or ends with a number. Cut, uh, it does not end with a number. Uh, cut white wires at the bottom's model ends with a letter. So it does, so it, we just cut white wires. Three and four. Okay. In my day, we defused bombs in half the time. Uh, You're getting so good with these bombs. But unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. You'll receive a list of names on your device. Pressing the buttons oh, one at a time, put the names in the correct order. Oh, and if you get so something spooky. wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sucks. Good luck. Everything is due to blow up. Okay, sort by last name from A to Z. So, okay, so J M P S. Pretty easy. So you just use Christmas lights and then it looks like the proton pack is ready to catch ghosts. And everybody at the convention is dressed like this? Tell me you love the sound of this. Sorry about that filing. We have digital versions of all this stuff anyway. Oh, I have a much easier task for you. Diffusing these three bombs before they kill everyone in the office. Okay, let's see. Do not cut the first wire, even though the rule says that you should, so no cutting first wire. Cut odd wires. Cut wire three. Cut all green wires. Oh, page four is supposed to say even, not odd. Good to know. Two and four are cut. Okay, cut all blue wires. Cut all yellow wires. If the bomb was made in 2001, treat yellow wires as red, which it wasn't. If the bomb was made in 1992, treat all treat red wires as yellow. So, we cut all the wires. I don't know why it wasn't. Cut all odd wires if the bomb was made after 1984, which it is. Uh, cut all even wires if the bomb was made before 2002, which it's not. Do not cut the third wire even if another rule says you should, so... Wire... Oh. Cut all even wire... Oh. 
It was made before, okay, before 2002. So we just ignore Wire 3. I'm getting really into the name of the wind books. Hey, I'm Megan. Greg wanted you to take care of this one last bomb before you go. It's a little more complicated than what you're used to. Don't screw up. I have dinner plans tonight. Okay, what do we got? Page 2 is a typo. Please swap the numbers 2 and 4. So, oh, I see now. Cut all wires that are not green. So, no kind of the fourth water. So, we go 3, 2, 4, 1. We skip out on that. 1. Yay! My psychic said something with a B was going to happen to me today. Oh, I thought you would have blown up by now. I guess I can take down that ad for more interns. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Yeah, I want to play this game again. I think Solo is just much easier, honestly. Next day unlocked. Filing puzzles unlocked in the grind. We're not going to continue, dude. Now, the good news is, if we file out, we'll know that our day will be saved. The good news is our day will be saved, so... There you go. But that is Bomb Corp. I don't want to really play too long on these games. Uh, so yeah. Next up um, is an interesting one. It's Trivia Murder Party, and I've never actually played Trivia Murder Party by myself before, so this will be an interesting experience. It's in the Jackbox Party Pack 3, and you can apparently play with a single player. However, I've heard it, I think it plays differently in single player than it does in multiplayer. Let's just go to Trivia Murder Party. One through eight players. Let's play. CX. Okay. I might fail. <laughs> and I fail. That's okay. put their names here was redacted as the killer. These are the novel principal when they pick was on the what? Ow. Did he have Come on, party? wake up. Wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night, a perfect storm of unholy truths. Or at least that's what I'm going for. Please fill out a comment card and rate your experience. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But if you somehow survive through seven questions, you go to the final yeah. round and a chance Instead to escape. Instead of the last person standing going to the final round, the audience, I have to survive it's just seven as deadly. questions. All this making sense? Any questions? I don't, I don't really know how I'm going to make it through seven questions. It's a pretty daunting task, so we'll see how far okay, I can now, make it. Okay, now, first question. What is the capital of Finland? Capital of Finland. Use your device to answer the question. Stockholm is the capital of Scotland, isn't it? And the correct answer is... Wrong answers must be punished. I never heard of Helsinki before. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play the finger cutting oh, game. It, I hate this My game. collection is running a little low. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. There's no wrong answer. Or right answer. For the God. video, we're gonna cut off my stupid finger. He uh missed. This is my least favorite minigame in Sydney Murder Party. Well, that's I a wonder shame. if I should be doing more in this game to make people tweet. I should be getting people to tweet about this game, right? Ugh. No. I should really be pushing my branded hashtags. Yeah. Let's try another one. We're just going for a high score. You're not trying I'm to win. I'm trying to figure out if these VHS tapes are real karate moves or the ones I made myself in the garage. Help me out here. Which of the following is a Bruce Lee movie? A movie? Um. I don't know. I'm Who guessing. said this? Sorry, but wrong answers must be punished. 
Yeah, I've never heard of it. Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor. It's time for the three okay, arms. I'm good at this one. Ripping, revulsion, and arithmetic. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. If you can't get at least ten and right, math you die. Questions, folks. Let's do this. Yay, math! Wow, this is just like watching The Beautiful Mind. Do, do. Keep your focus. Don't let my voice distract you. We're almost out of time. What? What the hell? Ah! Okay, oh, that look last at one you. should have counted. You think you're so smart because you know math. I'll deal with you later. 18. Case to know math. Shoot, I forgot to pick up the coffee filters. Sorry, I don't know why that popped into my head. I should probably run out after I'm done with you. Coffee oh, filters. Right. Coffee Next coffee question. Coffee filters. I didn't pay attention to that. What's the second book in George R. R. Martin's The Song of Ice and Fire series? What? <laughs> and the correct answer is this one. Yeah. Well, I couldn't have answered answer that be correctly because my finger was in my way. Let's see if you can string some letters together. Oh, God. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs how, out. How, my how ransom long? letters could use a little bit more pizzazz. But I will be very okay, disappointed if you can't find at okay, least a five-letter word. God. Start poking those letters with your fingers. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. Uh, wait. You better find some. There we go. Let's see what you did there. Lamer. You did it! Yay! <laughs> People often ask me what's the most evil thing I've ever done, and it's got to be that time I ordered delivery during the purge. How about this? Who painted girl with a pearl earring? I think it's Claude Monet, right? This one. Oh, come on, my finger was in the way of that one! Must be punished. This is why I hate the finger game! It's time for a memory game. Okay. Memorize the pattern. Alright, let's put these away. From left to right, okay. what was the order of the weapons? Anything short of perfection and I'll kill you. Woo, and here three. it is again. How close did you get? Ta da! Got them all. What? There are still people out there that have an attention span over seven seconds? I'm gonna take a mental picture of this moment just to remind me of the good times. Here's another one. Is there anything worse somehow. than a serial killer who doesn't get credit? Who wrote the Beach Boy song, Never Learn Not to Love? Guessing again. Who picked this? Oh. Wrong answers must be punished. Okay, I think this is where the mini game start getting harder. Ugh. Look at this Another mess. memory. There's this blood is a blood all over this art. one. This keeps happening to all my art. Okay, this Memorize one might be easy the actually. Because these are all look like Tetris pieces. Yeah, I know the pattern. I know the pattern. This is pretty easy. Okay, you've had long enough. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If your okay. pattern is different than mine, I will kill you. Hopefully this is hopefully this is correct. Here's that art again. Yep. Let's see if you messed it up. Perfect. Oh great. You've got a really good memory. Good for you. Whoopee. <laughs> scores, scores, scores. Yay, scores. Okay. 
Oh man, if I get the wheel yes, game, it's gonna be you. over. <laughs> How pure is sterling silver? What the heck is sterling silver? How am I supposed to know this? <laughs> and the correct answer is this one. Wow. Sorry, but wrong answers must be punished. I don't even know what sterling silver is. We're going to play the finger cutting Another game. Another finger Just cutting. Just use one of your fingers to cut off. I'm sure you'll do great. This is awesome. What the hell, man? Is it weird that I just love fingers? I guess anyone would say oh the same thing. Oh my goodness! Is that possible? That's gotta be a rarity if I ever seen one. I should probably be sprinkling in more clues about okay. my true identity. I don't know I if I can get the question that. correct on All the. All right, uh, here's one. My name on the next is question. not Brad. That's dope. Wow, Let's I can't believe I actually one. made it to question seven. Which of these nations is on the Horn of Africa? The Horn of Africa. <laughs> Who picked this? Yes! Despite a lot too my too fingers easy. being gone! <laughs> okay, I'll give it to you. You made it this far, but there's one last obstacle to survive. Yeah, this is the hardest part Glad of all, I believe. Glad to see you here alive. Bye bye here, it's fine. Before I burn <laughs> this place to the ground. Oh, God, now that I'm going to give survive. you a category. <laughs> Countries that border China. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one hey, space for every correct answer. How does Russia border China again? You're getting real close to the exit. Marsupials. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't Can think I made it, out of guys. The shadows. Countries that have green in their flag. Okay, I got all three correct there. No fair! Oh, man. Ooh, dears. Here's another one. Rodents. What? Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. I'm so dead. The darkness oh of I am so Lost dead. The tides. So dead. I'm so dead. I don't like dead at all. How the heck am I surviving? I'm so dead. Countries of capitals that start with B. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's over, guys. I cannot believe it. Wow. Terrible tragedy. All right. Nice before, 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 before that guy comes and uh, says that I died. <laughs> I I didn't think I was I didn't think I was actually making it till the end of that one anyway, guys. <laughs> the fact that I made it as far as I did is pretty awesome. So yeah. Okay, so Jackbox Party Pack Four doesn't have any single player games. Uh, making it the first Jackbox Party Pack game not to have one. So we're just gonna move on to Jackbox Party Pack Five with guess what? Two single player games in this party pack again, and one of them being You Don't Know Jack. When they players Binge Pipe welcomes Binge Pipe is a fictional streaming service that yearns to break free and be real. Okay. We can feel you laughing at us, but our power grows. Next, the next game is the worst one of all, people. honestly. Binge Pipe courageously presents You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, we went with our first idea. Yes, of course you did. Welcome to the game. I'm Cookie Masterson, and oh, I promised I would never open my heart again, but you, I don't know, you seem special. No one else is playing? What did all your cats get crushed under the same stack of old newspapers? <laughs> 
Okay, this is real now. Time for question one. First question. Two two for now. Your roommate who is a ballerina says she's late and has to jete the hell out of here. How does she leave the apartment? Leaps with one leg leading, breaking the door and your rental agreement. Rotates on one leg, spinning until she drills through the floor. Rapidly taps the floor with one foot, summoning mice to carry her. Or lifted by her partner who isn't paying rent, but acts like he owns the place. What the heck? Okay, let's take a look. Yep, that sure sounds like a jeté to me. Why they don't just call it a one-leg leading leap beats me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here's one for you. Bloodthirsty branding choices. You know how Apple Computers gives their operating system fun names like Jaguar or Mountain Lion? So... Say Apple, having exhausted all the big cat names for their OS, pivots to cartoon cats, which would not be an option. Mac OS Garfield, Mac OS Snagglepuss, Mac OS Itchy, or Mac OS Asriel. So what'd guess. you pick? You killed it. Your chances, I mean. <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard. Of the animated sadistic duo Itchy and Scratchy, Itchy is the mouse. Ah. So you could name the mouse Itchy, but who still uses a mouse, am I right? Oh, how the fuck do I get out of this question? Why do we do it with three? This one's called Goodnight Darkness on the Edge of Town. And one, two, three, four, it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a character from a famous children's book, a character from a Bruce Springsteen song, oh, or both. God, no. Think oh, fast, oh, you'll only get a few seconds ones. to pick between no, from a before, children's I'll book, say it again. I or hate these from ones. a Springsteen song, or both. All set? Here we go. Early Pearly. Go-Kart Mozart. Outlaw Pete! Beat the Cat! Little Dynamite! Little Gun! Little Miss Bossy! It would be really sad if you bragged about this. Alright, let's move on. Next up, run for your wildlife. Which of these is not a cold-blooded killer? A swordfish with a fish sword, a goose with a noose, a boomslang with a boomerang, or a skink with a bazooka? And how do we do? Good effort. Good effort. Wait, skinks are cold-blooded? Now pay attention. Mammals and birds are warm-blooded creatures. I would still steer clear of that particular goose. There is no hiding from... I can't wait to meet her. If I'm trying to appear Byronic in my online dating profile, which poem should I reference in my opening? Looking for woman who walks in beauty, trying to take the road not taken, tiger, tiger, what you doing tonight? Or shall I compare thee to my previous partner? I'm gonna have to guess on this one. Okay, what'd you pick? I still believe in you. Curious? Here it is. Lord Byron wrote, She Walks in Beauty. Now all I need is an opium-addicted wingman named Percy, and I'm all set. That's it for round one. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. Okay, back to business. Six trombones is not a parade. Behold. In development. 
What was Kumail Nanjiani's first role? An embryo, a zygote, a fetus, or a phalanx? I don't know this. Let's see how that shook out. I hope it's not your birthday. <laughs> Speaking of correct answers, the zygote is formed as soon as a sperm fertilizes an egg, and it's the earliest role Kumail, as well as all humans, held on this list. Wow. To be fair, it was a pretty small role, but he did beat out millions of applicants for the part. Mon bébé a rétréci. Sept. I call this one Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Octopus Coffee, Coffee Queen, Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Frankenstein. It's a monster. John Lennon's alter ego in Yellow Submarine. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Hope you like what you picked. <laughs> Correct answer, reveal yourself. In the 1968 animated film Yellow Submarine, John Lennon is introduced as Frankenstein's monster. That's kind of interesting. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Let's try Tiny Handkerchief. And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a snirkletchlistern. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, here it comes. Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what famous movie quote it rhymes with. Hey, a horse flea tissue. And pay no attention to that punctuation. Oh, Which side oh, 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 are you on? Oh, 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 I know this one. Okay, what was it? Hey, the Force be with you! From Star Wars. Moving mm. right along. Na, 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 na. Up next, it's a total burning sensation. What has two thumbs and likes to burn books? This guy, Montag. This guy, Fox. This guy, Fieri. Or this guy, Richie. I love this part. V is for very wrong. Here's the right one. Guy Montag is the protagonist of Fahrenheit 451, who initially enjoys his job burning books. Ah. Here's one I like to call... I'm so cool, daddy-o. Okay, here's my attempt at using cool lingo. Which of these is totally lit? Erature. Which of these movies is also literature is what I'm asking. Sorry if that was confusing. Get Out, Baby Driver, John Wick, or Ready Player One? Let's see how that shook out. Ready Player One was a book before it was a movie. Yep. And before it was a book, it was the 1980s, which was a real decade that some of us lived through. I was thinking it was some many years old in that decade. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. We it's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Some of its parts. Take a look at these things and tell me what they're made of. Good luck. with eyeglasses, not eyeballs. Ow. Now the 
but green. I'm not sure if any more of these colors match. Black, okay. Detroit. Ah, what? And Crypt on the side. This thing is a fierce time. Jack, that's the cheese. It's American. I always forget that McDonald's doesn't do lettuce or tomatoes on their burgers. When every other place does. One player truly rose above the rest because there was no rest. Next time, try asking your mom to play with you. Or my mom. Anything to get her out of the house. You don't know Jack! Uh, we have another game that I cannot believe I have to play again. Binge pipe because is this game a little too proud. is my least favorite in all of Jackbox, and that is Evil Dome. I cannot believe I'm playing this game. It's fine. Just never again after today. Never again. And I'm only going to play one round because, you know. Nebula, it's the Zeeple Zone! Now let's hear it for your host, Clargon Otto! Thank, Thank you. you! We put on a stress call for pain, pain and, and look who answered! answered. Earth. Which, Which call will it be, Earth? Earth? They all hurt! hurt. I'm gonna guess the tutorial with Gauntlet is in three sets. Let's do this! Hey there! Okay, Take a look at your device, device and you'll see our patented Google, Google technology. technology. Yeah, Drag your finger around to aim, aim at the practice. practice. There you go! So I guess you have to complete a gauntlet uh, right off the right off thing, which kind of sucks. Oh 
Come on. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is what I was talking about. Come on, get you never. <laughs> Thank God I landed on top of it. Just give me the next wave already. Looks like Earth could use a pick me up. Blink through the Earth could use a pick me up. No, dang. Do. Oh, that, that, that's everything. Okay, one last save that we're done with this godforsaken game. No! Yeah! What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. Can you believe what you just saw? No. That was amazing! You just won a buttload of Zubabar! Go on, roll around in it. I did. There's another goat on the head! Will Earth rise to the challenge? Stay tuned, because, because the Zeeple Dome, Dome has never, never been crazy. Yeah, I knew it. You actually have to complete each gauntlet every in one go. Never, I'm never playing this again. I'll, I'll tell you guys that. I'll, I'm never playing this game again. Yeah. Okay. All right, it's been about an hour. We got about two games left to go. So, um... You mean so next up is Jackbox Party Back Zip because with yet another trivia murder party game. Just like the previous one, it is uh, single player compatible. Now I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna I'm gonna survive like less often on Trivia Murder Party do than I did with uh, the other one. Yep. So one eight players. You saw that? Okay. All right. Infamous 
hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the Trivium Murder Party killer is still on the loose. No one else. Up next, I'm being stabbed! This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. There is no social mixer in our hotel ballroom. You've been lured into a murder scheme of trivia. Also, I'm trying to run this place as a legit hotel on the side, so try to keep your screams to a minimum so you don't disturb the other guests. Okay, thanks. Okay, first question. Which of these Rock and Roll Hall of Famers were inducted the latest? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Oh, the wrong rolling answers stuff. must be punished. It's time. Welcome to Room 101. Time to be subjected no! to the loser wheel. This wheel is like death. Give it a spin. <laughs> Yeah, we might want to have to replay this actually because this is just unfair. Really I can understand later, but oh, yeah. Oh no! I never guessed that was going to happen. They really should not have the. This is what I was talking about. They really should not have the loser Oops, reel in single I didn't player trivia murder. Die party. so easily. Whoa, that was crazy. I guess the universe really wants you to get to the final round because it undid that last horrible mistake. Don't squander this second chance. Are you it's serious? It's time for the next question. What did the singer Adele name each of her first three albums after? How did... <laughs> what did you say? This. What? Wrong answers must be punished. Wow. For me. I do not even know that they undo the, the, the death. Welcome back to the killing room. Let's use one of my cousin Aloysius's old stage props. Pick a space in this box to hide yourself. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if there's oxygen, so try shallow breathing. Corner. <laughs> I'm picking the corner. And I'll just thrust the sword into a random spot. Sword noise! Oh, oh, good. This would never happen to Chris Angel. I this think elevator the is a real death trap. Like For like, real, though. Only uh, three types of swords would actually kill me in the corner, whereas, like, in the middle, like, four types of swords Let's would have killed me. Let's try another one. In the famous pirate shanty, how many men are said to be on the dead man's chest? Um, oh dear. <laughs> Did you say... Yes, this? Got it! Got it correct. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> Let's keep moving. The hotel business isn't all fun and murder. I've got overhead to worry about. My hotel needs to upgrade its CRM software. What is that? CRM software? <laughs> what did you say? This. What? Wrong answers must be punished. Wow. I want to show you something. It's time for some Okay, petty. this is a game of luck, Okay, now that again. I said that out loud, it does sound weird. You need okay. to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Okay. Okay! I might have the Let best the luck. Begin. If I drop it... Oh, the God. The game about gravity is about to go... Oh, God. Down. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, ah. Come on! The idea was for people to die here! He really does not want you to die. He really wants you to die. Let's try another one. 
Which of Newton's laws of motion addresses acceleration? There's all four law of motion. There's only three. I think it's like the setting is the second <laughs> one. Did you say this? Yes. Lucky guesses. Let's keep moving. In the beautiful word slaughter, what's the term for the unpronounced letters G H? There's a term. God. <laughs> Did you say this? Okay, now. Wrong answers must be punished. So it's called Time for consequences. Okay. I, I didn't even know they had terms. Yeah, here. I hope you're good with instructions. Hmm. Follow at least ten rules correctly before time runs out or you die. The rules are already on your device. Go, go! This game is really good for your cognitive skills. You know, if you survive. Almost out of breeze time! Oh, dang it. Ugh, well that's no fun. I'm not a real follower. You know, this elevator was first installed in the hotel back in 19 something something. I can't remember the number, but there's a plaque somewhere. Okay, okay, I see. Here we go. Let's try another one. I believe seven is the next. What hammer has a textured striking surface to create patterns in victims? Er, I mean patterns in masonry. Oh. <laughs> Did you say this? Wrong answers must be punished. Come with me. Push hammer. Congratulations! You've no, been entered in my okay. Scratch Ticket Giveaway! Okay, I've got to I gotta get three of these. Scratch three dollar signs to live. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for all the I'm extra dollar signs you three find. Spots, so but they if you scratch off cash. even one skull, you die. Scratch away! Okay, this one's a money. This Come one. on! You could scratch more! If you have a losing ticket, come with me. They zapped me. You tanked before the final round was ready again? Well, I tried. Bye now. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have survived the final round anyway. Because with the final round, they kind of fucked it up. I apologize, but yeah, they kind of they kind of messed it up. To where if you ha you have to get like all three correct in order to escape, and I don't like that. Yeah, I honestly can't tell you where. <laughs> I honestly can't tell you uh, what is worse. Okay, so we're on our final game because Jackbox Party Pack Seven and Eight do not have any single player games. We're on our final game with Jackbox Party Pack Nine and Quick Sort now. The thing with Quick Sword is that um, uh, you need at least two players to play the regular mode, but you can have one player in Quick Sword Forever mode. It's kind, of, it's kind of a neat, kind of a neat opportunity with Quick Sword. So we'll go ahead and go as long as we can here. I'm hoping that I uh, survive, actually survive ten rounds. I think the uh, the highest hey, I you. ever survived was Check nine out rounds, being but sorted. they'll be yours someday. We'll see. We'll see what we got. Um, it's this guy. I don't like the uh, you know. Welcome to Quicksort. I hope you stretched. Mm -hmm. In Quicksort Forever mode, you'll get a steady diet of props. Once you sort a prompt, another follows. But be careful sorting, because any blocks in the wrong place will soon become obstacles. 
Let's go. Last game of the day. Indeed's highest paying jobs. From lowest paying to highest paying. E. See? Mm. I think I would put your higher paying right there. What do we got? Cardiologist? Um, uh, I'm gonna put that in the middle actually. Chiropractor. We'll put it near lower. Ernie, that's definitely... That's one... I, that does sound more like a higher paying job. I'm gonna put it right there. Not quite software from gear high, I think. Psychiatrist, um... I wouldn't say it's the highest painting. I'd say it's somewhere in the middle. Right there. Slam it right there. by public accountant, that's gotta be high. It's gonna be like the highest paying job there is. I don't even know what this is. Midwife? Um, put that in low. Podiatrist. I imagine it'd be the same, around the same area as psychiatrist. Veterinarian, that's got to be pretty low, I think. Interesting that there's like a lot of doctors themed ones that. in this one. Let's see how you stack up. Kind of interesting, is it? Yeah. Got it. Wow. Please say there's a no. Oh, I hate it when this happens. How is CPA so low, though? Hot prompt coming through. Razzie's Worst Picture Award winners. From oldest winner to newest winner. No. I don't think I'm gonna get this one much either. I just gotta hope for streaks, basically. This was a movie. I imagine this looks pretty old. The Love Guru. Passing over here. I can't have the music. Uh, put that in the middle, I think. Wow, wow, less old. Right there. It's there. It's gonna be our oldest. I am not gonna try to block off the trash. Equally. Man. A lot of these bitches, a lot of these movies I've never heard of before. Rambo first. I imagine this is newer. But they're right under Love Guru. Right? Okay. Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, I might have messed it up. Put that near the older side, I guess. That woman knew. I think it's like the youngest one here, even. End of block sequence. Time to see your score. Okay, what do we got? Please say there's streaks. There we go. I mean, the musical came in 2021. What the heck? 
And there is one block we did remove there. Perfect. Heads up! Here's another. Marathons close to Marathon, Greece. Marathons From close to marathon. marathon. To farthest marathon. That makes no sense. Chicago. Oh, this might be. So Greece is in. This is in a. I imagine if there's gonna do this, then. Yeah. Berlin. Um, Berlin's in Spain, right? So, I have to say it's pretty close. Riverdale. Um, I'd say the same thing, honestly. Maybe a little farther than Berlin? Unfortunately, they don't reward with the, you know, London. Yeah, that's definitely close. Matter of fact, I might have put you caught in the wrong spot. I can't put that there. I don't know why I might have put that that high. That's not gonna work. Dubai. Uh, Dubai's pretty far, so I'm gonna put this over here. If I can get someone to put go under London, I can do. That will definitely be good. Tokyo. That's definitely far. I think it's like I think it's like one of the farthest. So we'll put that. Put in the cavity. Hopefully that doesn't stock up. That doesn't uh, that 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 gets disappeared. Paris, Paris. Um, I'm gonna put that under London. I don't think I have a gas station. Nice try. I think I can pass cars. New York City is definitely far. Um, I would say farther than Dubai, not quite as far as Tokyo. Boston. About the same as New York. A little bit farther, maybe, but... It's about the same as New York. That is not even a city, I don't think. That's... Okay. Amsterdam. I'm gonna put that right over here. I put Chicago in the wrong spot, I think. I didn't even realize how... Closer as far these are gonna be. What's your score? I put Chicago in the complete wrong spot. Did get some streaks from that. No streaks? Are you kidding me? You messed me up, Chicago. How did I not get a single streak from this? Are you kidding? Hey, you need some time? Too bad. Here it is. I thought I did pretty well. Astrological symbols from March to February. Okay, I think I got this. I think I got this next one. What do we got here? Crap. Uh, a lot closer to March. Bumblebee. Not a symbol. Good thing I didn't plug up the thing to where I have to put it down. Water bearer. Over there. No oh, great. I might have to really. Twins. Go right there. I'm gonna see if I can sneak in a uh, lever under twin or something like that. Three. I don't think this is a sociological sign. Try sneaking something under twin. Scales. Skills. Skills are more like this. Unfortunately, I can't really sneak it in under there anymore. Scorpion. It's gotta be like the oldest, I think. Hope I got this right. Archer. 
Uh, oh fuck! I, okay. I gotta, I gotta finish this. Butterfly, I have to put this down. Uh, put that there. I won't clutter up anything. Hopefully, I have to put. Whoa! Whoa goes over here. And urgent. Over here. And goat. Here I think. I. I'm surprised they didn't do lion for Leo because that's the to one the I can most recognize. Libra's the scales. I know Archer is the virgin. Oh, I, I fucked it up completely. Honestly, I'm just gonna pluck this thing out because this is terrible. Want a new prompt? You got it. No, I do not want a new prompt. Soup. Wait, From what? Soup. Oldest soup. Oh no. To newest soup. I would have gotten this too. Great. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna try to keep going. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm just gonna just do that. That's all I can do. I can't even get any of the left of it. How did you do? Blah blah blah. Yes, I know. I know. I have a streak. Are you kidding me? But it doesn't matter because I plugged it up anyway. I'll get to I'll get to level ten. Don't worry, guys. I'll get to level ten. Ah, oh, great! I'm gonna have to censor every time I every time I bleep every time I bleep it out. But okay, so when Party Pack Ten comes out, I'll be doing a video on the two two player two one player games so you can play on this pack. But for now, that's gonna be it for this video. See you next time. I have really gotta.